Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. My name is the Shrunken Chicken, and today, um, you may see that, um, I'm already in creative. I have some stuff in my inventory, and that is because we are actually, I'm actually going to be doing a redstone video, um, showing off the basics of redstone. So, this is go kind of going to be a, a learning process for me and for you guys. Um, so, this is part one of a series that's going to be ongoing. Um, and so, let's just get right into it. Um, okay, so, redstone dust. It's the basis of everything you're going to use, unless you're like Il Mango and you want to use no powered rails because you're weird that way but i'm i'm a redstone dust guy so as you can see redstone dust will um it will break if you oops, break the block under it um and it will, and it is powerable for for six for fifteen blocks before the sink the line of redstone runs out of power. So if I just quickly put down place down my redstone torch if you come over here and you place down one more you can see that it's not powered because you have no particles coming off of it so if i place down a door uh, an iron door if i go ahead and place an iron door right here see it's open but if i do that and add one more it isn't open so you, redstone dust only has a signal strength can only go for 15 blocks before it's finished um it goes around it goes around corners it can connect like that and um it can also go up one block at a time so as you see, can see if I do it like that, they connect, but if I do it like this, they don't connect. Okay, um, actually, also, let's talk about those as well. Um, and so, they also, if I just quickly grab myself a, a slab, Place a slab. <laughs> there we go. It can also go up slabs if you want half a block. Um. However, using this principle, if I just quickly grab myself some concrete, if I make a redstone line that, say, goes like this, okay, and then I start placing, I can place blocks over the top of that redstone line, right? But, if I place, but, I can't place a block there, so, if you see, that is not powered, but if I flip that, that is powered. So, you can't place a block above a piece of redstone dust that is going upwards, if that makes any sense at all. It probably doesn't. However... If we use the same method, but grab some carpet per se, and we place the carpet, 
and we add a redstone torch, it actually does get powered. So, hope it works, um, but if you're thinking that slabs will work, um, oh, they actually do. Oh, slabs work as well, if you want to use slabs instead of carpet. So, any, any half block. What about upside, upside down stairs, though? I wanna... Oh my god. Place upside down. Stairs. You let me actually do that and then place some stairs. Remove that block. Oh, actually, it's um. Let's no, 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 no. I want. This is my first time ever making a redstone video like this, so bear with me. Add that. Yes, yeah, stairs will work as well. So anything that is not a full block will work when going up. Um. Okay. Oops. Got my torch. Okay, so, um, so that's redstone dust. Oh, and one more thing actually about the dust. So dust, the redstone dust, is going to travel if I... Just quickly add this. Really? I thought it trapped. Huh. Never mind that though. Um. I thought a redstone. Signal would travel through a, one block. Yeah. Hold on, just a second. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so, that's pretty much breadstone dust for you. Oh, and if you place it kind of like this, and if we then place our beaver there, yeah, that works too. So, that's just kind of like the basics of redstone dust, and that's the basics of all Minecraft contraptions. So... Now that we've talked about redstone dust, we can start getting into more the more um, complex things, such as with torches, repeaters, blocks, trapdoors, and eventually, maybe in the next video, um, some different stuff like um, observers. Okay, so now that we've figured out redstone dust, let's talk about the redstone torch. So, we have our redstone dust from 1 to 15 signal strength. Well, now, we have the redstone torch. And so this beauty actually is going to power anything that it's next to. Next to. So if I take this, and we place one of those right there, and redstone torch, bam. Um, 
so that's pretty. So the redstone torch powers anything. It's next to. Um, kind of like the redstone block. Except even it has two phases. So if I do this, that's going to be, now that torch is off. But then if we do that, that torch is going to be on. But now, if I run a signal into the block, this is on using my own redstone torch, it's going to flip. Let's actually get a reaver for a better demonstration of this. And let's just, let's look at this. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah, I'm gonna real quick go to peaceful. Flip, flip. And so those are, that's going to change. But if I just place down a redstone torch, ran a signal into it, and then that, it doesn't work because the redstone torch is powering this line. Whereas if I'm if I do it like that, this redstone line isn't pa isn't being powered by the redstone torch anymore. So by flicking it on and off, I can change it. And so that's how this works. I'm just changing the state whether this redstone torch is on or off. So the state is basically whether something is on or off. So if my piston is like this, it's off. Its state is off. But if I click this reaver, now its state is on. Um, same thing with the reaver. Um, if I add a couple pieces, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. See, so states change. Just like with a door, uh, or a gate. Open, close, open, close. So that's state. And redstone torches, kind of. So if I, using the same method, take a sticky piston. So a redstone torch is going to power anything, so see? But if we do it like that, because this redstone torch isn't powering anymore, it doesn't matter. Because this is just the block it's attached to. But if I were to say... Do that and that powered, or if I did that, so that's your redstone torch. Very, very, very it's it's interesting how it works, and that's going to be like. An, so let's see. Let's build just a little, uh, kind of a, a simple contraption using. But so, and so you can see this turned off because this is powering the block under it. But that's odd because it's the block under it is empty. So we're just going to make a very simple redstone torchinator. A red simple redstone torch ele elevator. So just a very simple one. And then add a little staircase. Okay. And then add a little Three by three, just to show this demonstration of the power of the redstone torch. And then, if we make, and we're also actually going to be using a little bit of redstone dust here. And then, if we just, oops, um, actually, because of that, we're going to have to power under the block right because 
and then just kind of squeeze in over here and touch one of those to grab ourselves a reaver put it there if we flip that oh did i do wrong oh i'm not powering see told you learning process for me too so i think i need to There we go. And so then if we break this reaver and climb up our staircase, our door is to our, a door to our baby baby one by one house. I'm just going to build real quick here is now open so all closed and then on and we just run up here and we're inside so that's the basics of like of a redstone torch and this is like a really simple design for like a hidden switch you could with an if you had an iron door at the top of your base you could hide one of these underground and have like an underground switch that you flick and it opens the door up there right so that's just kind of like a very simple um use of a redstone torch not an elevator uh, uh, not really an elevator well a signal elevator kind of because you it makes the elevator go further up right so we're gonna talk about two more things the block of redstone and the redstone repeater so the block of redstone is kind of like the redstone torch but it can't do as much it's just automatically going to power anything you can't you can't it doesn't have a state it's just a block there, there is no state for it to for it to have right so it does it doesn't matter but it does turns off those it doesn't affect redstone torches standing next to it 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 just it um and i mean it has it gives a full signal strength of 15. so kind of an interesting one i think um it's it's useful if you want to build like flying machines i guess um and i'm not going to build one today maybe we'll get into that into in a later episode but um yeah it's not great Sorry guys, a little bit of background noise, but yeah, just powers. Ugh. My gosh, I've done that so many times today. Powers anything next to it. So not a very useful one unless you want to build like flying machines, I guess. Alright, so, the last one, the beautiful and wonderful redstone repeater. Okay, so, you know how we were talking about this signal strength of 15 and how after 15 it stops? That's why we have repeaters. See, every 15 blocks you place down one of these, and you get a full signal strength again. And if you see... We'll just go until it runs out, and then place another one. So the torch that can't be moved should always be in the direction that your redstone line is going. 
So now, if we place another one of these, bam, done, easy. Okay, so that's like super simple, not even very hard. And, but, if we see, it will also directly power something, even if there's not a piece of, piece of redstone dust. So, as you see. Okay, so I'm going to switch this out. This redstone torch out for a reason. And, so everything in Minecraft redstone is controlled by ticks. So, like, it takes a certain amount of ticks for everything to work. So, an observer gives a, a one tick pulse. So, if I actually activate that observer, you can see it. It's just one tick. Um, and so, this also activates in one tick. But... So if we just get this into perspective. This line I've made one tick. As you can see. Okay. So now if we added four to that very end, here's what's going to happen. You wanna flip that. And see how everything fires, but then there's a wait. Let me show it again as the one tick. So flip that back and then come back over here. Flick. One pulse. Just flick it back and forth. But if I come down here, four. And see, so takes four extra pulse ticks for it to reach there. So now, if we so this can do one, two, three, four ticks, and so if I add four ticks here. And four ticks here, and then come back down, place my reaver, hit that, uh, I kind of want to, yo, let's move, this reaver a bit closer. Stops. Stops, stops, stops. See how it takes a little bit, just a little bit longer? Oh my gosh, guys, I'm, I'm so sorry for the noise. Um, but, okay, so, this is how that works. But, so, if we just quickly get two of these just next to each other, add a reaver. Oh, it actually does work. So, you can place two of these next to each other. Okay. So, let's just go over the mechanics a bit more. If we do that, then at that, as you will see, the repeater will not fire. Got in the right direction, I then flip it around, it won't fire. So, you can't place a repeater up a block from where your redstone does. Also, cannot, however, you can make a corner with a repeater, but you cannot have the repeater be the corner block. So, show that, there's fire, that won't. But if we do it like this, add one more, it fires perfectly fine. So, 
A repeater cannot be a corner block, and it can also not be a block above from where your redstone, your main, from where your redstone dust is. So, that's pretty much the basics of everything. Please let me know down in the comments below if I, like, if I missed anything. Because, oh my gosh! <laughs> because, I really, really, like, I don't know. I've never done one of these videos before. I I'm kind of new to redstone as well. So it's just a it's a learning process for me. Um And so please just let me know in the comments down below if if you like what I'm doing and if you want to see more of these videos and if there's anything I missed um with the torches the repeaters and the uh dust so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to leave like and subscribe and actually I want you guys to comment down below if there's a mini game you guys want me to play because I've kind of stuck to the same old thing for a lot of mini games but I want something new something different so um leave a comment down below if you about what you want me to play next so um peace out so um yeah peace out videos over